from Ingram Flats, the camp that sits just 3,000 feet below the summit of Mount Rainier. A climber captured the tail end of a rock fall, an event so common the sound barely registered with the climbers above. Other people coming down. I was one of them. My group attempted to summit July 15th, one week after an avalanche swept away part of the popular disappointment cleaver route. No climbers were on the mountain at the time. Scientists say if they had been, they would have been killed. It is concerning. You need to hit it at the right time, but spontaneous rock fall can happen anytime. It hit at the wrong time this past weekend. Todd Burleson, the president of Guide Service Alpine Ascents, yeah. says team leaders turned their groups around, yeah. but another outfitter did not. It was a broken pelvis and one guide was injured and, an, and another person was slightly injured. That doesn't surprise T.J. Fudge. He's a glaciologist at the University of Washington who himself summited Rainier more than a decade ago. And he says a lot has changed since then. Mount Rainier is the most glaciated peak in the lower 48 states. It has about 29 named glaciers on it. Uh, and those glaciers are receding. They're slowly uh, shrinking back, due in large part to the warm summers that we've been having. Take a look at these statistics. The hottest summers in Seattle have all come since 2013, and records date back to 1890. So you can see how much the glacier has retreated in that time period. This picture was taken in 1921. This one in 2012. In this photo, it's actually a little hard to make out the uh, bottom of Emmons Glacier due to all the rock fall that's on it here. But you can see this moraine that has been left behind. And so it's just a real visual way to see uh, the impact of ice melt and ice loss on the Mount Rainier landscape. But both Fudge and Burleson say that doesn't mean you shouldn't climb it. Given the volume of climbers that are there and the, the risks associated, uh, that you know are kind of unavoidable, you're, you're going to have some of those situations. You climb at the right time of day and watch yourself. Move quickly through the dangerous areas. That's what an Alpine Ascents team did today and summited. By the way, I did too. On Mount Rainier, Joanna Small, Cairo 7 News.